In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an NFT project using NMaker Studio. The first step is to add all wallets to your account that you will later specify as payout wallets in your project. Now, what is a payout wallet? A payout wallet is the wallet where all the sales proceeds from your project will go. As you can see, I already have a payout wallet, but we're going to enter a new one by selecting enter new wallet address. Now we're going to go to the wallet extension of our choice and get the receiving address. I'm going to select my NAMI wallet. Click receive and copy your wallet's receiving address to your clipboard. Paste your wallet address in the your wallet address box. We're going to leave the blockchain selection as Cardano. And we're also going to name our wallet. I'm going to name mine NAMI wallet 2. Now select submit wallet address. Now that we've added our payout wallet, we're ready to create our NFT project. Go ahead and click the NFT projects tab. Select create new project. Enter the name of your project. I'm going to name mine NMaker logos. Now go to the right side of the project name section and upload the project image. The project image will only be used at the payment gateway sort of like a banner for your project. In the next few steps, we're gonna add some project details. If you have a website that you'd like to link to your project, feel free to add it here. This step is optional. Now let's move on and add a description to our project. This step is required. Add a token prefix. The token name prefix can contain a maximum of 15 characters, no special characters or spaces. This prefix will be added to the asset name of each token of the project. If you specify a prefix here, Please don't add another one in the token's metadata or you will have them doubled. You can even add your Twitter handle. At the bottom left, you can see 20 minutes. This is how long an NFT in this project will be reserved for a specific address or buyer. The standard reservation time is 20 minutes. If the blockchain is under heavy load, we recommend increasing the reservation time. But in most cases, 20 minutes is more than enough time. On the right side, you can select the payout wallet. You can see the two wallets from earlier. We're going to select the one we added, NAMI Wallet 2. Again, this is the wallet where the sales proceeds from the NFTs in this project will be sent. Click Next. Now it's time to create a new policy. You can even import an existing policy, but we'll save that for another video. Now what is a policy? A policy is a unique identifier that defines who can submit changes to the policy for your project, otherwise known as the holder of the policy keys. It's also a guarantee to buyers that you won't change anything after it's been locked. We recommend that you show your policy ID to your customers so that they're not scammed by others attempting to impersonate your project. Please choose a locking date that allows you enough time to sell all your unminted tokens and make any necessary changes like updating metadata or burning specific tokens. If you're going to add multiple collections, but you want to keep the same policy ID for them, Consider using a never locking policy or a policy that locks after you completed all collections. Once a policy is locked, you won't be able to mint new NFTs on this policy, nor will you be able to burn or edit any tokens. The policy locking date cannot be changed, so choose wisely. Click Next. NMaker Studio allows you to specify a metadata template for each individual project. This metadata template contains placeholders that will be replaced by the actual values from the metadata provided by each unique token, meaning each token uploaded to this project will use the metadata structure and placeholders of the metadata template. Click Next. We're now at the summary section where we can review all the information of your project. After reviewing your information, click Save Project. Your project has been successfully created. Please keep in mind that in case you want royalties for your project, the first token minted on the policy must be the royalty token. So we're going to go ahead and mint our royalty token. In order to do that, we need mint credits. We can get mint credits by going to the profile icon at the top right corner of the header. Click buy mints. You can now select the number of mints you want to buy. The minimum is three mints. To buy three mints, we must send 13.5 ADA to the address below. Now we're going to copy the address to our clipboard. Then go to our wallet. Click send. Input the address from your clipboard. Make sure to verify it's the correct address. Input 13.5 ADA and send. 
the transaction has been submitted. It may take a few minutes to process. As you can see, you now have 13 ADA Mint credits. We can now mint the royalty token for our project. Go to Manage Project. Select Collection Token. Select the royalty percent that you want to receive from the sales of the NFTs in your project and add the address that should receive the royalties. The royalty receiving address and the percentage can be changed as long as the policy isn't locked. Select Mint Token. Click Yes. It may take a few minutes before your royalty token appears in your project. After waiting a few minutes and refreshing the page, your royalty token should appear under your project. Now it's time to upload our files and create our NFTs. You can do this under Manage Tokens. You should see the collection or royalty token as the first minted NFT. To upload files for your NFT, at the bottom left, click the green button, Upload and Pin NFT. Enter the token name, display name, and description for this individual NFT. Click Next. It's time to upload the files that will be in your NFT. Select the file type of your preview image. This will be the first image on your NFT. To upload the preview image, select Upload and Pin. You can even add subfiles, but we're going to limit this NFT to just one file. Click Next. In this step, you can even override the metadata template to make your metadata more custom to your project. But we're going to keep this metadata as is. Click Save NFT. Your NFT has been successfully added. Now we have to set up our NFT prices and make our NFTs available for purchase. We can do this by going back to NFT Projects. Go over to the right Actions column on the right-hand side. Select Manage Project and click Set NFT Prices. This page is where you can add prices for your NFTs, create discounts, and add sale conditions. To create a price for your NFT, click Create New Price. Select the number of NFTs in your project that will be sold at this price. Enter the sale price and we're going to select ADA for this sale. You can even select the time that this price is valid from. You can get really creative on how to sell your NFTs, but we're going to make our NFTs available immediately. Now select Price Activated. And save. You can also offer discounts to specific customers and add sale conditions that buyers must meet in order to purchase an NFT from your project, like buyer must stake on a specific stake pool. For this project, we're not going to add any sell conditions and we'll leave our NFT sale open to everyone. Let's make our way back to the price list page. Now it's time to select the integration or method that you would like to sell your NFTs. With NMaker Pay, our system protects your tokens with CAPTCHAs and an automatic queuing system, so everything works flawlessly, even for the biggest drops. You can even enable pay an address, multi-sig, and fiat payments. You can even define the time and date that the sale will begin. We're going to make it available immediately. You even have this professional looking checkout button. There are several button styles and colors you can choose from. You can select the payment gateway link option, which you can place literally anywhere on the internet including social media. The button link option to download the image file of the NMaker Pay button and link NMaker Pay manually. This is only necessary if your website doesn't have an embedded code option and you still want that cool looking NMaker Pay button. And lastly, the embed code option, which you can easily copy to your clipboard and paste to your website's embed code field. And there you have it. Your customers can now buy NFTs directly from your website. To upload more NFTs to your project, go back to NFT Projects, Manage Tokens, select Upload and Pin NFT, and repeat the steps. For large NFT projects, 
we suggest you use the bulk upload option for uploading files faster. In case you made a mistake on an already minted NFT, we give you the option to create a burning endpoint, which allows you to burn, edit, and remint your NFT. Every NFT in your project has its own payment link, enabling you to sell them directly to customers as opposed to the random sale payment gateway for your entire project. You can find these specific payment links by going to the column furthest to the right and selecting Sell NFT. Then select Sell with Endmaker Pay, where you can copy the links to your clipboard and even see how it will appear in Endmaker Pay. So you can easily link images to their NFT counterparts so your customers know exactly what they're buying. No surprises. You can even mint and send individual NFTs. Endmaker Studio is the most versatile and powerful NFT toolkit on any blockchain, enabling creators to mint, manage, and sell thousands of NFTs, all from one easy to use dashboard, no coding required.